Hi everyone, welcome to Mash Math. Today we are going to study from class 10, chapter 2 polynomials, exercise 2.2, question 2. Find a quadratic polynomial, each with the given numbers, as a sum and product of its zeros respectively. So this here, we have to find the quadratic polynomial. Here already given to us the sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros. If you see question 1 we have seen here, question 1, the polynomials were given to us. We have to find the sum and the product, uh, the zeros of the polynomial. But in this question, you have the zeros of the polynomial, sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros are given to you and you have to find the quadratic polynomial, just the opposite of it. Here we found the zeros, here we have to find the, here we have to find the polynomial, here we have to find the zeros. So zeros are given, we have to find the polynomial. So let's do it. Here there are two methods that we can find the quadratic polynomial. So both the method I'll show you. So first you can uh, assume it and first you can assume. So let alpha, let alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial. We have to find the quadratic polynomial. So general formula is ax square plus bx plus C. So let alpha and beta the zeros of the polynomial of this. Now alpha plus beta that is sum of the polynomial. So sum of the polynomial is 1 upon 4 and then the product of the polynomial is minus 1. So first one is sum of the polynomial another one is product of the polynomial. So now we know that sum of the polynomial is sum of the polynomial is minus b upon a and then product of the polynomial is c upon a this we know it so now here sum of the polynomial given to us that is minus b upon a is given to us that is 1 upon 4 and here also the product of the sorry the product of the zeros, sum of the zeros is given to us minus b upon a and that we know 1 upon 4. Then the product of the zero is c upon a and the product of the product of the zero is given to us minus 1. In this method what you have to see is the first thing you have to see the denominators. Is the denominator is same so that is the first thing you have to do. The denominator has to be equal. So here if you see denominator 4 we have but here we don't have 4. So then what we have to do? We have to see that both the side we get the denominator same. So what we will do here we have 4. So to get the 4 what we will do? We have to take the LCM. So consider that is 1. So if we want 4 then we have to multiply both side with 4. So then what you will get? Minus 4 on you will get it. So now c upon a is minus 4 upon a. Now you have to consider this, not this. Right? So now let's write down the value of a, b, c. So a is equal to what? Now a is 4. Here also a, here also a. So a is what? 4. And b is minus, we so have to write minus and then 1. Then c is what? c is here c is minus 4. Now don't write this because we have already converted this c upon a. We got it minus 4 upon 4. So now the c is what? Minus 4. So now just put to compare. So now we have to on comparing the equation that is ax square plus bx plus c. So what we will get? So therefore the quadratic polynomial on comparing. On comparing the ax square plus bx plus c so the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial is equal to in the place of a write down the value 4 and this x square as it is then we have plus here in the place of b we have 
minus 1 and this x as it is then plus in the place of c we have minus 4. So now you write down this 4x square plus into minus will become minus 1 into x will get x only plus into minus will become minus 4. So this is our answer. So this is one method. Now another method is using the identity or you have another method that is using the identity in the introduction part when we were finding out the sum of the product the relationship when we were studying between the zeros of the polynomial and the and its coefficients so when we studied there i have explained to you so you have the identity that is k x square minus x sum of the zeros plus then the product of the zero that is a so this is the identity you are studying so you, you can use this identity and then find the polynomial so here you have k as it is so we write x square as it is minus x now sum of the zeros what is that sum of the zero we have so sum of the zero is 1 upon 4 so 1 upon 4 this plus as it is now product product what is given to us product is minus 1 so now k as it is x square this minus x into 1 will get x upon 4 plus into minus will become minus 1 so now in the denominator we are here we don't have anything here also in the denominator we don't have anything so we have to see that we get everywhere the same so here we consider one here also we consider there is one so then what we will do here we have four so to get here also four here also four what we'll do both the side will multiply with four here also both the side we multiply with four so then what we will get if you have multiplying here with four then we we'll get four x square then denominator it will be 4 only because 4 when we multiply here you will get 4 here also when you multiply it for 4 only we will get so denominator will become same so here what we will get here I will show you how to do x square you consider there is 1 okay x upon 4 here also we write as it is so when you are multiplying all the side 4 you will get 4 4 x square here it will get 4 then here already we have 4 so we will write this as it is so minus x then here we have minus so when you have both side multiplying with the 4 we will get 4 here so the denominator everywhere will remain 4 so we write 4 as it is now bring this 4 outside so then k okay, this 4 will come outside sorry this is in a division so when it comes here it will become multiplication k upon 4 and then remaining is 4x square minus x minus 4 so this is our answer so you see the same way either you do this way you will get the answer same and if you are using identity also you will get the answer same so now let's see the second one second one is second that is that is sum of the product is uh, sorry sum of the zero is root two and then the product of the zero is one upon three so sum of the zero is root two and the product product of the zero is one upon three so now we know that sum of the 0 is minus b upon a and the product of 0 is c upon a. So now this is given to us what? Root 2 and this is given to us 1 upon 3. So now what we have to do? We have to see the denominator whether same or no. So you see here it is not same. So we consider that is 1 is there. So what we will do? We have to get the denominator. Here in the denominator we have 3. But here we don't have 
anything so we will get the here also denominator we want 3 only so what we will do with the 3 we will multiply both the sides so root upon 1 when you are multiplying both the side with 3 what you will get you will get 3 root 2 and then in the denominator 3 so now we have got that is minus b upon a what we got that is 3 root 2 and denominator 3 and here we have the same that is c upon a will be 1 upon 3 only. now the denominator is same so let's write down the value of a a is what now 3 b is what minus 3 root you write down this and write the minus. Then C is what? C we have 1. So now you write the quadratic polynomial comparing on comparing AX square plus BX plus C. So in the place of A what we have? A we have 3. So that means 3. X square plus B what we have? B is minus 3. 3 root 2. X we write as it is. Plus C is what? 1. So now what we will get? We will get 3 X square plus and minus minus 3 root 2 X plus 1. So this is our answer. So now let us do the second method using the identity. So, k x square minus x, sum, is, sum of the uh, 0 is given to us, root 2 and the product of the 0 is given to us, 1 upon 3. So, k x square minus x, now root 2 we have, anyway let's write down root 2 plus 1 upon 3. So now you see in denominator here we have 3 but here we don't have anything in the denominator. So everywhere to get in the denominator 3 what we will do with the 3 we will multiply both the sides. So consider there is 1 here also consider there is 1. So when we are multiplying both sides with 3 both sides when we multiply with the 3 what we will get k. So 3 x square minus when we multiply we will get 3, 3 x root 2 then plus this one will remain as it is. Now denominator everywhere we will get 3. So now k okay, this 3 will come here then the remaining is 3 x square minus 3 x root 2 plus 1. So let's see, you see the previous answer what we got was 3x square minus 3 root 2x plus 1. So now second method also we got the same only. See number is here so let's write down the number 3x square minus x will come the other side so number will come first. So we'll write x then plus 1. So that's our answer. So you can use any method, either the assuming method or you want to use this identity method. If you are able to remember this identity, you use this method. If not, you can use the first method that I have taught you. That's it. Thank you. The remaining ones we'll see in the next video. God bless you.